السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونسلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما Dear children, how are you all doing today? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you all in the best state of iman and health. May Allah bless you all with all the goodness and happiness of both the worlds. Allahumma ameen. So my dear children, if we want ourselves to stay healthy and we do not want any difficulty or problems in our lives and we want that no one gets upset with us and everyone stays happy with us, then we'll have to do things, things which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now I know you must be thinking what are the things that we can do to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes? So here is the answer. We can know these things only from the Quran and the Sunnah. Uh-oh. And now you must be thinking how do we understand Quran as it is in Arabic, right? You know children, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those slaves of his, loves those children who learns Arabic. So inshallah, from today onwards, we will learn Arabic. And you'll have to learn one ayah per week in this language. You'll also be sending your homeworks to us in this group, inshallah. You know that there's 10 times reward for reciting each letter of Quran. Let me repeat. 10 rewards for each letter. Now you say Alif, you get 10 rewards. You say Ba, you get 10 rewards. Subhanallah. And these rewards will increase the number of times we'll repeat the letters. So just imagine, you say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem. Can you just count on the number of rewards we get just by saying, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem. Let me remind you again, with every letter, not the word, with every letter, you get 10 rewards. And also, not only that we get the rewards, but we will also be able to understand what are the things we need to do to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear children, have you ever noticed whenever you buy a toy, there is always a paper of information with it telling us how to use the toy, how to take care of it and much more instructions in it so that we use it in a proper way so that nothing goes wrong with it. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made humans and sent down the Quran so that we read it with understanding and we do only those things which Allah likes and which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we avoid those things which displeases Him. Dear children, we get to know the things which please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only from the Quran and the Sunnah. Therefore, if you want to go to Jannah and you want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make Allah happy and to stay away from Allah's anger and you want that everyone loves you and you don't want any difficulty or problems in your life, then what do you have to do? Tell me what do you have to do? Yes, we have to study Quran with a lot of interest and passion. We will have to learn the meaning of Quran in Arabic. And you know what? It takes a lot of hard work and efforts to do it. But this way, you will be able to collect a lot of rewards and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be happy with us. He'll be happy with us in this dunya and he'll allow us, he'll grant us Jannah in the Akhirah as well. 
Now this is what we want, right? All of us dream to live in Jannah. We want to enjoy the blessings and the favors which Allah grants to the people of Jannah. And I'll let you know few more details about the Jannah. In fact, we will show you the video about it. So that you'll know the blessings, how beautiful the Jannah is and why we have to always make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the best Jannah, meaning Jannah al -Firdaus. So children, tell me who wants to go to Jannah? Who wants to be in Jannah al -Firdaus? MashaAllah, I know all of you wants to go. So let's begin our Quran with Ta'uz and Tasmiya. So children, Ta'uz is saying, A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. I repeat, A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Before reading Quran, we say Ta'uz. So that we are safe from shaitan. Allah helps us and protects us and shaitan goes away from us. We should also say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim before reading Quran because Allah has instructed us to say so. We should say Bismillah before doing anything and everything. Because when we say Bismillah Allah blesses our efforts and make our work easier. Saying Ta'uz and Bismillah makes our work easy and simple. And also we get lots of rewards. So let's learn the meanings of this Ta'uz and Bismillah. Ta'uz A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim A'uzu I seek protection, refuge, shelter, Billahi, with Allah. Mina Shaytan Rajim. From Shaytan, the rejected one. So the running translation would be I seek protection. With Allah from Shaitan, the rejected one. Bismillah in the name of Allah, Ar Rahman, the most gracious, Ar Rahim, the most merciful. Bismillah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. So now let's listen to the audio of Ta'uz and Tasmiyah. <laughs> So my dear children, let's do a quick recap of the things we learned today. Yes, 
the first thing we learned was the way of recitation of Quran and that we should always start the recitation with ta'awuz and tasmiya. So what do you think that happens when we do this? Yes, you're right. Our biggest enemy, shaitan, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make all our works easy, will ease all our affairs and we'll be granted Jannah al-Firdaus inshallah. And what else did we learn today? Yes, we learned that Quran should be understood with its meaning. What do you think will happen when we do this? Yes, you're right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased by us and we'll be granted Jannah. He'll be happy with us. And why do you think he'll be happy with us? It's because when we understand Quran, when we learn Sunnah, we'll come to know the deeds which Allah likes, which Allah loves. And we'll come to know about the deeds which Allah dislikes, which makes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala angry, which brings us difficulties in our life, in this life as well as the year after. Because when we disobey Allah, Allah will not grant us place in Jannah. So, when we understand Quran, we will learn to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We learn to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, what should be done now? Yes, you're right. We should learn and understand Quran with lots of interest and passion. You know why? Because this is the book of Allah. This is the book which gives us guidelines to lead life in this world. And this is the book which tells us about the blessings which we'll get in Jannah, inshallah. So inshallah, from next week, we will be learning one ayat per week. We'll not only learn, we'll understand its meaning. We'll do our homeworks and we'll send our homeworks in the group, inshallah. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك See you all next week Inshallah with the first ayah of Surah Al-Fatiha Until then take care جزاكم الله خير كثيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته